All right, guys, so I'm taking off the turbo um, on my truck yet again. Um, this is to install the Wicked Wheel 2 on the 38R. So I'm going to kind of give you a glimpse of the teardown of what I've got so far. So here we go. All right, so we got the um, intake off, got the spider removed, um, taking off some clamps, and okay, there's my oil crossover. So I gotta take that off. I gotta take the um, Blade Runner bracket off right here um, to pull my whole turbo. So some of you might be asking who know how to, you know, maybe do this. Um, why am I not just taking off the compressor housing um, plate off and then just do my wheel that way and use an impact. Well, the reason is um, when I installed this wheel, it did not go on, um, I guess, smoothly. Um, so I kind of had to really kind of, and no, I wasn't cross-threading it. It just was, it was tight. It was a tight fit. Uh, I don't know if it was because, of, no, I don't know if it was because of it being a new wheel and I don't know. But anyway, I cannot do it that way. I've tried in the past and it just doesn't work. I have to pull the whole turbo and everything and then go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yank this turbo off. Uh, yank this turbo off and we'll get to it. All right, so I got the turbo off. Um, for me, it's always the back clamp that goes down for the, uh, the up pipes. Um, it is a struggle to always get that one off. I don't know why. Uh, but all right, here's the, uh, here's the turbo. It's off. <sighs> all right, so we're going to go into the shop. Let's grab some tools. All right, so got the turbo in the vise. Um, so I clamp mine like this because I have an, uh, the exhaust back pressure delete. So it allows me to kind of, there's clamps I can clamp it on. There's two little back spaces. Um, there's different ways of clamping these down. Um, they do make, they make a holder uh, for this to put in a vise. I can't remember where I saw those at. I've never had one. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pop the cover off and then, uh, We'll put this new wheel on. Sweat. All right, so one thing is, is when you're taking your wastegate off, um, on here, there's a little C-clip. I doubt I can get this on camera, but. Right there. So. You gotta take that C-clip off so that you can pop this off. Well, that's right, I forgot. I had to drill mine to make mine kind of fit. Um, but I just wanna let you know, even before you can just pull it off, there's a C-clip on there um, to actually yank it off. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this uh, housing off. All right, so these bolts on here take a, uh, let's see, I got a uh, 5 16 and this is the um, the torque, the torque where they call it 12 point. All right, before I actually pull this housing off, I want to show you what the actual you know wheel looks like in there. So that's how the wheel fits in there now. Remember this is the 38R. And just like that, she's off. Now the fun part. So I gotta get this off. Alright, so here's the wheel. This is the stock or the stock 
turbo wheel. I'm actually wondering, because now looking at it, it doesn't look a whole lot different. Pull this turbo, the wheel off, and then I'll set them side by side and we'll take a look. Okay, so honestly, there's not a whole lot different. Um, basically, the only thing different between this one and this one is that it doesn't have these short fins. So this, this one here is the stock that came with the system. So it's got a short fin. It's got a long fin then a short fin. The only thing different on the Wicked Wheel is every fin's long. I mean, I can't see anything else that's different. Let's see. We're so the Wicked Wheel has 11 fins. The standard has 12. So, so honestly, with the Wicked Wheel 2, I honestly don't know how it um, is going to perform you know, a whole lot better. I, mean, I don't know. I'm not an engineer. But uh, we're going to see. You know, We'll see what happens. We'll see if it does a difference. Uh, if it does a better sound and more boost and see what happens. Uh, one thing is guys, when you get your uh, wheel in there and you know you're setting it back up, make sure, go ahead and spin it a couple times. You shouldn't hear anything. That means it's good. Um, because you don't want to like rub in and all that kind of stuff if if it's in there and it feels kind of sloppy like you can Wiggle it back and forth like you know move it um, Your seals are gone on the inside and you need to replace those But uh, this one's been 100% rebuilt. I rebuilt it myself, so I know it's all good um, Just to recap in case for some reason you guys don't know what I'm talking about. This is the 38R um, turbo this is the AFE, um, uh, AFE actuator, it's the billet. Um, then this is the Banks exhaust housing. So 38R, Banks exhaust, AFE wastegate. Just to recap with a wicker wheel to um, inside. So just so you know. All right guys, so we're still working on this install here of the Wicked Wheel 2 for the 38R. And one thing I wanted to mention about this kit, which was pretty nice, I didn't expect it. Um, I didn't read, the, read it in the, um, in the notes on it, but it does come with new pedestal O-rings. So when you pull your tur turbo off and there's two O-rings that go on the top of your pedestal, um, it actually comes with new ones, which I do recommend anytime you're pulling the turbo, just go ahead and replace those seals. I don't care if you just put it on a week ago when you put a new turbo on or you're taking yours off for some reason, just replace those O-rings just in case you happen to get a snag or something like that. Just put new ones on. They're pretty cheap and it's something that can really cause you a headache down the road if for some reason you gotta pull all this off and do it all over again for something that costs like 10 bucks. So, replace your O-rings. So, we got the turbo on. Okay, the so turbo's back on, the new wheel's in there, which I don't know if I can. So the wheel's in there. Um, so I just gotta finish up this install, got about another 30 minutes and then we're gonna be done.